learnt about the different prefixes and suffixes in the previous part. Now is the part where we need to understand about how we can break up the system of units into two broad things that is a scalar quantity and a vector quantity. Scalars will understand that they do not need a direction to be specified. Vectors need both a magnitude as well as a direction. Now since they are physical quantities, obviously units need to be specified for both of them. Let's try to understand more about the scalar quantity and the vector quantity in this particular unit. So the next topic that we need to now understand is scalars and vectors. So what exactly are scalars and vectors? Scalar quantities are the quantities that only have magnitude. They do not have direction. You do not need to specify direction to understand about a scalar quantity. For example, if we talk about a mass, mass as I had mentioned previously as well, mass does not need a kind of direction to be specified. Mass is going to be the base. It's basically the content any object has. That is how we define the mass. So you measure mass like that. Then if we talk about temperature, Temperature also is not going to be dependent upon which direction you are moving. Whether you are moving from north to south, it is not going to be dependent upon the direction. It is an it's a inherent quantity. So again that is a scalar quantity that we see. So scalar quantities can be added and subtracted like simple additions. For example, if you have a 4 kg object and you have a 6 kg object, if you have to add the two objects, if you just sum them up, Let's say you have the 4 kg object kept on the 6 kg object, that's going to result into a 10 kg object. So it's a linear summation that we talk about, simple summation. Further.